the company produced aluminum car wheels. The process of finishing the wheels left behind aluminum scraps, which were chopped into small pieces and sent to a furnace to be melted and reused. Chopping, drying, and blowing the dry chips through the transfer piping created highly combustible aluminum dust, which flowed through ducting to a steel drop box outside the building, where large particles were trapped. The air then entered a dust collector, which removed finer aluminum particles. Over time, aluminum dust accumulated inside ducts. In addition, there were leaks in the piping used to transfer aluminum chips, which caused dust to build up on surfaces throughout the furnace area. Aluminum dust landed on beams, ledges, and equipment. In some places, the dust was several inches deep. On the night of October 29th, about 10 minutes after workers started the aluminum chip melting process, aluminum dust inside the dust collector was suddenly ignited, perhaps by a metal ember or impact spark, resulting in a large explosion. The blast propagated back through the duct into the steel drop box, blowing it apart. The fireball and pressure wave continued back through the duct system into the building, gaining intensity as the accumulated aluminum dust ignited. The violent disturbance shook loose dust that had built up on external surfaces. At about 8.30 p.m., plant mechanic Sean Boone was one of several workers in the area of the furnace. Without warning, a fireball erupted from the furnace, engulfing the area and igniting airborne dust in a second, larger explosion. The explosion blew a 50-foot-wide hole through the roof of the building. Co-workers found Sean Boone lying on the floor near the furnace, gravely injured. He was rushed to the hospital and put on life support.